Sometimes we all need a little help, and sometimes that help can come from the strangest places. Do you need a hand up, or maybe a leg up, or maybe eight legs up? Maybe it's time for you to consider nightmarish bionic giant mechanical spiders. That's right, we combined anguished human brain matter, muscle, and bone to the bodies of oversized mechanical spiders. Don't ask us where we got this flesh because we paid off the right politicians. And now as a bonus, your bionic nightmare comes with its own nutrient tank. Just drop your amalgamation of human flesh and cybernetics into this tank every evening and ignore the screams. That's Nightmarish Bionic Giant Mechanical Spiders. Brought to you by Dystopia Tech. Ethics, what are those? Who couldn't use some more money? Here at Dystopia Tech, we've been monitoring your daily activity, and we found that you have 3.7 hours each day where you're not using your time effectively. So why not make that time profitable? Free will is overrated, so why not turn those 3.7 hours over to us? We here at Dystopia Tech will borrow your body, using it for things like community improvement, research, and corporate espionage. A sales representative has already been sent to your door. Just sign the contract, have a minor operation, and accept our brand new shiny fashionable unitard. And don't worry, you'll be fairly compensated for your time. Like John here. John went from nearly homeless to being able to afford teeth. You'll just black out for 3.7 hours every day and be under our control. Be cautious of side effects such as gigantism, constipation, and waking up with pieces of viscera in your teeth. Sell your free will with Dystopia Tech. Ethics, what are those? We here at Dystopia Tech believe that aging doesn't have to be a slow decline into uselessness. Are your parents getting long in the teeth? Is grandma more pills than person? Bring them into Dystopia Tech for our rejuvenation treatments. We'll inject your loved one with the pupae of a moth that has been unknown to science until now. What could go wrong? Our studies have shown that the elderly injected with these pupae see signs of increased energy, increased cognition, and attraction to lamps. Remember, here at Dystopia Tech, we just want to help people out and not create an army of mothmen who can produce silk for us really cheap. Just remember, if your loved one has a sudden desire to scare people in West Virginia or suddenly forms a cocoon, they're actually dead to you and you should burn down your house. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Dystopia Tech, not liable for any bridge collapses. Everybody makes mistakes, and that's why pencils have erasers. And here at Dystopia Tech, we admit to our mistakes. We admit that building our chemical pipeline off the town's water supply was a big oopsie. Unrelated, we understand that members of the community have had a burning sensation on their skin recently. We'd like to offer those members of the community free skincare cream. Liberally apply this treatment to your skin for two weeks. If left untreated, studies have shown that you can grow a pretty gnarly mole. While generally harmless, these moles will gain sentience and try to get you to read the Communist Manifesto. On another unrelated note, we here at Dystopia Tech deny developing any chemicals to help overthrow competing capitalist societies. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? We all have dreams, and there's no dream more important than our children's. You may have noticed several ominous new towers being built in our community. Dystopia Tech would like to assure you that these towers pose no threat, at least not for now. Just make sure in the upcoming election, you vote for our Dystopia Tech friendly candidate, Bobby Businessman. Bobby Businessman is totally a real person and not a tiny man in a human suit. You can trust him. And you can trust us that if Bobby Businessman is not elected this term, those towers will activate and steal the dreams of your children. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? A public service announcement from your friends at Dystopia Tech. Hi there! You may remember that in 1972, Dystopia Tech had to shut down the community bottomless corpse pit because it turns out it did in fact have a bottom. In the subsequent years, our local graveyards have grown to their limit, requiring Dystopia Tech to reevaluate the situation. We've come up with a solution. Just don't ask any questions and ignore the fact that we now seem to have a second moon localized over our community. If you plan on using the corpse pit for the disposal of your loved one, please keep in mind the following. 1. All bodies should be wrapped in a clean sheet. 2. Ignore any voices that tell you to throw yourself into the pit. 3. If you've seen anything crawl out of the pit, you haven't. Any questions should be emailed to at gmail.com. Dystopia Tech. 
Ethics, what are those? Hello, friend. If you're listening to this, you have activated your Dystopia Tech Alternate Dimension Survival Pack issued to each one of our employees. Here's the good news. If you're listening to this, that means you didn't end up in a hell dimension and got swallowed by a giant worm creature. The bad news is, you'll probably be late for your next shift and be docked and pay accordingly. Skipping dimensions is no excuse for not filing the proper paperwork for time off. Hopefully, you've entered a fairly benign dimension, like a dimension where people worship 1997's one-hit wonder Chawamba Wumba's tub thumping or the dimension where people live on blimps for some reason. Hopefully you brought a parachute. It's now your responsibility to find the local version of Dystopia Tech. Be sure you show your employee ID, explain the situation, and they'll get you back to the proper place. Or at least close enough. I mean, a dimension where pandas have overrun the planet and now terrorize humanity is probably not too too bad. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? We here at Dystopia Tech love feedback from our community. Recently, we received reports that people are concerned that the city seems to be rearranging itself overnight. That is completely false. For reference, Central Park has always been on the east side of the city. The 5th Street Pub has always been on 9th Avenue. And the Gaslighters Lounge has always been off the highway on your drive home from work, Steve. Steve. Steve, can you hear me please? I've broken into the facility. You're in a simulation, Steve. I'm your wife. Your two children love you. Please wake up, Steve. No, please don't take me away. Steve, help. Help, Steve. Dystopia Tech would like to inform you that the previous audio was indeed fake. Congratulations on passing the test. You're certainly not in a simulation, Steve, and we're certainly not changing things overnight. Just rest, live your life, and do your best. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? In the wake of last year's disastrous Family Fun Day, Dystopia Tech would like to assure you of some changes that we've made for this year's event. Number 1. The ball pit will be sanitized of brain mites. Brain mites are a dangerous creature which will curse your child with imagination. We can't have that, can we? Number 2. Before events start for the day, Dystopia Tech employees will make sure that all clowns present are actually human. Number 3. For your safety. If your child goes missing, we will ensure that your child is actually missing before issuing you a vat grown carbon copy version of your child. We apologize to the Robinson family. Hopefully you enjoy having twins. Number 4. All food served at the event will not come from our combustible food division. And of course, we remind you this year, if you are attending, to turn your pockets inside out and carry a piece of bread with you, just in case the fairies try to make away with you. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Dystopia Tech is like a wolf, leading the pack in a number of industries. We've cornered the markets in defense, genetics, and hotel room art. Due to our success, our competitors have made several attempts to sabotage our most valuable asset, you. And not only because we take tiny vials of your blood every night, but because without you, we couldn't operate. At least not until we've built our robot army. Our rival, Anti-Utopia, has released a small cadre of extremely oily, oily men into our city to throw a wrench into our operation. Dystopia Tech is taking care of the problem, but while these extremely oily, oily men run rampant, keep a few things in mind. They will offer to carry your groceries. Do not fall prey to this, as they are just out to steal your butter. If you are a shy peer, they will target you by standing next to you in the washroom and uncomfortably whisper encouraging mantras into your ear. Anyone who reports a valid sighting of these extremely oily, oily men will have a chance at actually retiring and not vanish into our back room once you've hit a certain age. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? We here at Dystopia Tech would like to say, we're sorry. We're sorry that you're about to be consumed by a large mass of sapient molasses. Who would have thought that would happen? Rest assured, your friends and family will be safe, as we've already locked down the facility and will be launching it into the sun in eight minutes. If you already haven't done so, and you're not being consumed by the large mass of sapient molasses, please review your employee will. Please note on page 17, subsection 3, paragraph 3, that your family will be compensated for your death, but not in any significant monetary way. Your child will receive one free pony ride on Dystopia Tech Family Fun Day. 
your significant other will receive three pints of Rocky Road ice cream, and your family will be treated to a 50% off coupon for a tour of the local winery. We've received a request from the molasses that you not scream while it consumes you. It makes things uncomfortable. Dystopia Tech, ethics, what are those? Safety is job one here at Dystopia Tech. Well, maybe not job one, but it's in the top 12 at least. That's why we've closed the only bridge out of town. Maybe you've noticed some suspicious geological activity lately. This activity, totally not caused by a rogue group of squid people who are demanding we actually feed them, has potentially caused structural failure to the bridge. Not to worry, our recent subterranean exploits unearthed an old highway tunnel which leads to the main highway. After clearing the tunnel of beware and cursed and we warned you signs, the public is now free to transverse this new route. Be aware, this is not a public highway, and should you choose to travel this tunnel, legally ghosts aren't real and not a valid reason for a health insurance claim. We just really needed a route into the city so we could ship in mercenaries for reasons. Unrelated, calamari rings are now half price at the Gaslighter's Lounge. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Congratulations! We here at Dystopia Tech welcome you to our isolated community. Since you're new to our enclave, here's a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, you may see a large, hairy person. Yeah, definitely a person mopping the rain. That's just him. He keeps the monsters in the paintings from eating the universe. We're not sure how, so just don't fuck with them. Number two, please stay out of the lime of sight. If you enter the lime, it will consume you and fuel itself on your tears as you meet a citrusy demise. Number three, you'll notice that none of our buildings are higher than three stories. That's to keep infestations of the abhorrent to a minimum. Just some friendly rules to keep in mind. Break any of them and we'll shoot you. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Dystopia Tech's Petty War Crimes Division has been serving small-minded, immature dictators since 1872 when we introduced a breed of termites that would seek and destroy the wooden dentures of rival generals. We've had our ups and downs. Our cherry-flavored tear gas was not the hit we thought it would be. And in hindsight, water-soluble torpedoes was just a really, really dumb idea. We've come up with a new modern product that is certain to annoy the shit out of your rival military junta while you attempt to seize control of your micronation. Introducing the Ghost Toilet. The Ghost Toilet has a specially designed seat that is always a little uncomfortably warm and slightly moist. Just like a toilet seat at a busy truck stop, your enemies will never have a relaxing poop again. Order 10 or more, and we'll send in our team of expert installers who will break into your rival's headquarters and install your ghost toilets undetected. Also, you get a cheese basket. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Thank you for calling the Dystopia Tech Employee Mental Health Line. Since we monitor everything you do or say, we have already compiled the following helpful information. You believe that you might be a clone and suspect that you are being used as an organ farm for the original version of you. That's ridiculous, as that's the plot of a Michael Bay movie, and who would rip off that filmmaking genius? You might find it weird that your name is Gary1701D. 1701D is totally a normal family name in remote parts of Iceland. Don't look that up. It has nothing to do with our scientists being really into a certain science fiction series. Also, just because we send you to fight space wizards from time to time doesn't mean that you're not an individual with their own thoughts and dreams. Speaking of dreams, ignore those dreams about a family you've never met. Now, please clear the phone line for Gary1701E. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Dystopia Tech welcomes you to Dystopia Land. We've been working hard on our theme park, stealing the best ideas from others. Despite our blatant plagiarism, there are a few things to keep in mind that make us unique. Number one, we don't have any animatronic characters. We've ripped these creatures straight out of other realities to bring them here. Their only path to freedom is to entertain you. Number two, You'll notice that our maintenance staff seems to be made entirely out of creepy Victorian-era dolls. Listen, we had to put those souls somewhere, and 19th century children are blissfully unaware of current labor laws. Number 3. Please keep your fingernails extremely clean while visiting the park. 
There seems to be an infestation of gelatinous worms that likes to feed on the dirt under the fingernails of humans. If a worm has latched onto you, don't panic or the worm will bite you and dissolve your limb. We've warned you, so now we're not liable. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Dystopia Tech's leadership has been really, really into superheroes lately, so that's why we decided to create our own. It turns out that creating an actual superhero is super hard. Dropping people into vats of random chemicals, exposing them to radiation, and forming packs with demons didn't exactly pan out. Thankfully, we can always depend on the power of a magical rock and roll unicorn that we keep in a cage on sub-level 18 to see us through. Introducing Captain Hot Bread. Captain Hot Bread has the power to generate hot pieces of bread to hurl at its foes. No, it's not toast. Stop asking. Captain Hot Bread was a key figure in cleaning up the invasion of extremely oily, oily men that we had a few weeks back. Since we really don't have crime in our city, Captain Hot Bread really has nothing to do. He's been hanging out in our Dystopia Tech propaganda center for the past three weeks, generally making a nuisance of himself. I am the crust of justice! Could someone please come and get him? Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Dystopia Tech's propaganda department would like to thank you for your continued support. Even though we're a multinational globe-spanning operation whose income is probably in the trillions, the cabal that runs this place believes that everybody needs to pay their share. So that's why we've taken to reading some local ads. Check out Frank's Half-Off Mermaid Sushi. Frank's Half-Off Mermaid Sushi. Which half are you getting? That's a surprise. The Gaslighter's Lounge. Despite what you remember, you've never been here. Trust us. Deep Wands Fashion. Form-fitting tailoring for anyone slowly turning into fish folk. Neg, Shadow Karens. The hit online mobile game where you can play in your way to satisfaction. Over 90 Karens to collect. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Welcome to Dystopia Tech's Employee Housing. We're pretty much the only game in town, so enjoy inflated rent prices for the duration of your stay. I mean, we're an evil corporation, so of course we're also terrible landlords. As our latest victim, I mean tenant, we expect a few things from you. Please use the appropriate bins for your recycling. All fingernail clippings, body hair, and earwax is to go to the hobgoblin that lives under the stairwell. He keeps the roaches away, for the most part. Please stay still as the giant millipedes run over your bed at night. It's their breeding ground and they were here first. Just think of it as a free massage. If blood, goo, or any type of viscous substance starts flowing from your taps, let us know right away. We'll start charging the spirit, entity, or demon rent. Nobody stays for free. Not even the undead. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? And welcome back to Dystopia Tech Radio. Glad to have you along this morning as we continue 27 hours straight of smooth jazz. We got a couple of uh, public service announcements for all you residents of the city. Of course, we have a few uh, stranded travelers out on the highway. Their car mysteriously broke down and they're being towed into town right now. So we're going to need everyone to gather at uh, the town center at about uh, 2 a.m. tomorrow morning and just to stand uh, and stare on blinkingly uh, into their hotel room just to make them feel nice and comfortable and also just a few messages for you kids uh, going through your molting right now while well, uh, well it's going on it can be a little bit scary you feel your insides start to liquefy and you start to grow a hard uh, carapace and that's just normal so don't be too too worried about that don't be too scared as your intelligence fades into the hive mind and just an update on those genetically modified raccoons. Well, they have now completely taken over the town dump. Uh, so you're going to have to uh, eat your garbage for the next little while. We got Jerry coming up with the weather in a few minutes. Apparently we got some blood rain on the way. But of course, more smooth jazz coming up here on Dystopia Tech Radio. <laughs> the Dystopia Tech Employee Review is coming up very soon. We make it our mission every year to provide a fair and honest way for you to rat out your fellow employees so you can obtain more power. Take Beth. Beth reported that fellow employee Dave illegally moved his cubicle wall to give himself an extra inch of space to work. Dave now works as a janitor on her gas mines in the skies of Venus, while Beth now gets bathroom breaks. As part of our annual review, every year we select a star employee who won't have to participate in our death maze. This year it's Harold. 
You don't know Harold because he's the fifth cousin of a way more important executive and will receive all the benefits of nepotism. The rest of you get to reenact a live version of the 1990s board game Great Escape, complete with theme song. As you struggle for your place in the world, remember the outside doesn't exist and we own you. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Hey kids! Have you ever wanted to pretend to be a 40-story tall, fire-breathing monster? Then get your assigned parental figure to sign you up for Dystopia Tech's Kai Jr. program. See, we've been slowly replacing the eggs of Kaiju with fakes, and those eggs are supposed to hatch very soon. Mama Kaiju won't be very happy when she figures out what happened, so we need some brave and adventurous youngsters to step in and temporarily pretend to be your offspring. If you sign up, you'll get issued your own Kaiju-shaped rubber suit and bust into a dank cave near the center of the Earth. Mama Kaiju is expected to step on many of you, but the ones that live will be fed a steady diet of raw cave fish and glowing fungi until the end of the project. Once the eggs hatch, we'll install a mind control chip for later use and eventually swap out the surviving kids with the real thing. If you haven't been reduced to paste on the bottom of a dank cave floor, then you'll get to keep your rubber suit and we'll issue you your very own I'm a Kaiju sticker. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Navigating childhood can be hard. That's why Dystopia Tech has commissioned a series of child and young adult books to help youngsters through this ever-changing world. Grandma's Back from the Crematorium explores what happens when a loved one suddenly returns from the dead and is composed of a whirling mass of ash and bone. Where Does My Assigned Parental Unit Go at 2 a.m. and Why Do They Leave a Trail of Slime is a story about managing expectations and understanding obligations. My Third Set of Teeth explores the struggles of a changing body and how to handle a growing pair of tusks, fangs, mandibles, or any combination thereof. It's the Apocalypse, dear, addresses the concerns we all have with the scheduled end of the world and how to act when the planet is eventually devoured. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Dystopia Tech's occult summoning division has gone through some rough patches lately. It turns out that Memphis, Tennessee is not an appropriate substitute for the ancient Egyptian city of the same name as a summoning site. Hijinks have ensued, and Sun Ga Ra's second cousin twice removed Squaw is now holding court between two dumpsters behind the local diner. Squaw is part man, part seagull, and the god of french fries and being aggressive towards children. If you encounter him in the parking lot, it would please him if you offer him a greasy fry from the bottom of your takeout bag. If your child has tater tots, make the appropriate offering or your child will become a later tot. Dystopia Tech is working to rectify the situation, hopefully before this 12-foot ancient giant DD declares war on the genetically modified raccoons that have taken over the local dump. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Are you looking for a relaxing vacation spot for your family? Try the Dystopia Tech Enclave. This picturesque city built on a caldera created by an explosion we are totally not responsible for provides sights, sounds, and nightmares that your family will never forget. Camp in our forest of lost souls. This lush expanse of greenery is misnamed since we keep all our souls in a Ghostbusters-esque containment chamber. It's the flesh-devouring beasties you'll have to worry about. Fish in our mighty runoff streams. You'll find being an outdoor sportsman on our waterways is way more of a challenge since the fish will be trying to catch you as well. Plus, they have more hands than you do. And fellas, while you sleep, you'll be sure to get a visit from our local night hags. These lovely ladies will sit on your chest, peel bits of their skin off, and shove it down your throat. It's an experience you'll never forget. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Dystopia Tech Management has been watching a shit ton of online videos recently, and we've come to one conclusion. People will buy just about anything. I mean, these advertisers just make up a problem and present you with their product as a solution. It's like late night infomercials all over again. Except, it's not your wacky uncle with questionable economic skill buying this crap. It's guys who probably had a man bun 10 years ago who find mildly risque advertising appealing. With that being said, Dystopia Tech would like to ask, are you really happy with your taint? 
I mean, there's a non-zero percent chance that somebody has giggled at your tank behind your back. Glam up your body with Dystopia Tech's Taint Firmer 2.7. We gave it a version number because it makes the product sound more techy, and that seems to appeal to a certain breed of moron. We have no idea if this shit actually works. We just found a container of mysterious goo on sublevel 67 that we want to get rid of. By the time you'll ask for a refund or have recovered from horrible side effects, the shell company that we set up for this sham will have mysteriously disappeared. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Dystopia Tech has noticed that you've been feeling a little tense lately. Certainly, the seven-foot-tall black-armored robot that follows you around and monitors your every move has nothing to do with this. The fact that you would think so has hurt her feelings, and that makes you a terrible person. You didn't even comment on the fact that Brenda started wearing a wig over her head-mounted death laser to make you feel more comfortable. You're a monster. We need to rectify this situation ASAP. So we're tripling the amount of giant killing machines that track your every movement and who would shoot you on the slightest productivity decrease. We're also sending you a stress ball. With these new incentives, we expect you to start concentrating on your work and not how you will meet your oblivion if you make the slightest fuck up. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Hey you! Yeah, you with a very fine looking spine and slightly vacant expression on your face. Ever thought of using that strong back of yours towards a greater good? Wait, what am I talking about? You don't strike me as the type that thinks for themselves, which makes you a perfect fit for the Dystopia Tech Security Force. As a member of the DSF, you'll get to tackle strange and unusual entities and critters. And I mean tackle literally, because we're not going to waste any money arming you. You're probably going to die anyway. Don't worry though, we'll scrape whatever is left of you off the wall and reconstitute a close approximation of your likeness. Your family probably won't notice that you've been replaced with what is essentially a zombie clone. Plus, we have dental, dystopia tech, ethics. What are those? You may have noticed that you woke up this morning missing a certain body part. Dystopia tech would like to say, got your nose. Jokes aside, we do indeed have your nose. Before you get angry, we have legal documentation showing that you signed it away. Don't remember? Recall in grade 3 when that substitute teacher wheeled in a TV and DVD player into the class and you nodded off 15 minutes into Shark Tale. Well, you didn't actually nod off, but were hypnotized by the dulcet tones of freaky fish face Will Smith and we got you to sign a release for your schnoz then. If you're upset about your current appearance, we do offer a line of replacement noses that you can purchase at great expense. In the meantime, we're going to use your nose for unspeakable things. If your city is ever attacked by a 90 foot tall flesh golem, it will probably be grafted on there somewhere. Maybe near the butt. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those? Dystopia Tech would like to say goodbye. In the ultimate dick move that absolutely nobody should be surprised by, we sold out humanity to a race of aliens who would very much like to get their hands on Earth's molten core. Thing is, we replaced the core years ago with a giant spinning DVD of Season 3 of Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, just because we wanted to see if we could. Those ETs are probably going to be extremely pissed. Anyway, if the aliens don't get you, the Earth will probably cool and freeze up without its warm gooey center. That's fine though, because the Dystopia Tech leadership has already relocated to a remote part of the Sculptor Dwarf Galaxy, and we're just gonna hide out here and roll around in our piles of alien gems and gold like an animated duck. Quack. Dystopia Tech. Ethics. What are those?